Eric Back and Naturopath. Thanks for coming back. Why does it seem that people in Asian countries seem to be slimmer than people in the United States? Have you noticed that? Have you guys ever traveled? Have you been to India or have you been to Japan or China or South Korea or beautiful countries like that? Have you ever noticed? I spent a lot of time in India. I did postgraduate training as a homeopath way back. Okay, This is when I met Mother Teresa and I worked in Calcutta for a while. It was a crazy experience. And the interesting thing was I did see obese people, but often these were Sikhs uh, or wealthy people. I could not believe the disparity I saw now of rich and poor. It was incredible. But we're seeing that also in LA now and lots of other sort of Western places. But it's incredible when you see the difference of the size of people in Texas, you know, uh, and places like Louisiana, and then you go over to Delhi or you go to Tokyo and you look at the difference. We are seeing an increase in obesity in Japan, significant increase. And that's because also we're seeing an influx of companies are pumping a lot of crappy food into these places. But Japan always had traditionally the highest life expectancy in the world. When I was a young guy, a long time ago, the average life expectancy of the Japanese male was 77.9 years of age, which is the highest on earth. It's not hard to see why. Rice, fish, seaweed, vegetables. Basically my diet Okay, that I eat now, a similar kind of diet. When you eat like this, you end up lean and mean. Okay, Traditionally, in South Korea and Japan, uh, people ate lots of seafood and rice, pickled vegetables, maybe not so good for the stomach, but they didn't really have the burger joints. They didn't, they didn't have the dial-up pizza joints that they've got now. So, And also, I think the culture, these people, it was more polite to have smaller portion sizes. Okay, And eating was more of a ritual. It was an entirely different situation. Now, similar with India, I saw people walk vast distances, eat small amounts of food. Some families I saw were just living basically on lentils and rice and a few tomatoes and onions thrown in, and that was about it. So what I've learned from my Asian experience, the healthiest people usually have the smallest portion sizes and the highest quality food. Right? Now, we don't see that in the United States. We don't see people with small portion sizes. In fact, every time I eat in LA, they put enough food on my plate to feed me and my wife and my child. There's enough for three or four people there. So I usually am amazed at the mountains of food. Quantity, too much. Quality, not good. Okay, stress levels high. And when you put those, you, you know, point those three things together, you're going to get a massive problems in a population base, especially with companies that, that pump out products like, you know, cola drinks and things like that. So, but you don't need to live like a Texan, okay, uh, or, or a Louisiana person or something like that in the United States. I've met many very slim uh, people in the States as well. And often they're more enlightened people that make better dietary and lifestyle choices. Now, if you're watching this and you're a large person, you've got those same options. As a Japanese lady or male, as a South Korean, you can also choose to eat and live like a person like that in your own country. You know, you may not look like that person, get the black hair and that kind of stuff, but you can achieve a significantly better body frame by adopting these sorts of principles. And these principles I'm going to be very keen to show you with my new kitchen, with the kind of cooking styles that I've been doing. I've been telling you guys about this for a long time, and it's just about ready to happen soon. So, But yeah, Asian cooking would have to be probably my favorite, particularly when I marry that with Mediterranean concepts, because I love Mediterranean cooking. So how I like to cook is a fusion between Mediterranean, I love Japanese food, especially the sashimi, the raw fish, uh, and but I also like the olive oil and olives you know, and the sun-dried tomatoes and things like that. So uh, the fusion is a really nice flavorful sort of concept. So what was the question again? Why people in Asian countries are slimmer than those in the United States? Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? They're actually eating better food. That's what it boils down to. Choice is yours, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Click on the link if you want my free weight loss report. Thank you.